Welcome to Bones. Access all areas. Studios at Stage 6, which was previously the homes to Starsky and Hutch and The X-Files, The Poseidon Adventure, and also The King and I was filmed right here. But at the moment, it's the home of the series Bones. I'm about to get a tour from its creator. See you inside. So, Hart, we are entering Stage 6. Stage 6. This is our Jeffersonian Medical Legal Lab. Yeah. Um, at the time it was built, it was the biggest set that uh, 20th um, Century Fox had built for a TV series. Wow. Um, very... Was it, was it extremely expensive? It was extremely expensive. Here's the actors' chairs. They're all uh, off at lunch. Okay. Um, and, and there's a second crew out on location. So we Here we go. This is TJ around. dressed in his little blue coat. TJ. There's, yeah, continuity for TJ. Sir. Unbelievable. Very nice to meet you. How are you? <laughs> now, no, hold on. You should not be interviewing me. I'm interviewing you. All right. Absolutely right. No, not. this is right. So here we are. Um, back to the program, and I'm here today with your favourite host and beauty, not the judges, but the wonderful Cat Dealey. Cat, how are you today? I'm very good. Would we good care for a you. cup of tea or no, anything like that? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. So, Cat, let's get right to the important Stop questions. Stop now. Enough. Are you married? Enough. No. Do you have a boyfriend? No. Really? <laughs> right. Okay, tell me about your character. Come on, be serious. Jack Hodgins. So this is our third season. Yes. Season three, which is amazing. But with shorter hair this season. Yeah, much shorter. How yeah, about that? Yeah, much shorter. My take on it is that he's now with Angela and that she's not going to want him to have that big floppy do. You the fray. So, yeah. Jack used to be the kind of guy that woke up in the morning, threw on a sweatshirt and went to work. But now he's Ate got a girl. A Ate a donut, hung out. Yeah. He's got a girl to impress now. So he has to kind of try and be clean cut and... Okay. You know, nicer looking. Knife. I'll take a knife and fire. I'll make you an orgasmic grilled cheese sandwich. Suddenly I am starving. Oh, good lord, you have to stop mounting each other in the office. So what's going to happen in this season, in season three, what's going to happen? Don't tell anyone. Okay. But Jack is going to go after the grave digger in season three. I love it. That's an exclusive. You find him. Cat Dealey, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> thank you for being here. Okay, I have to go shoot. Okay. Before they yeah, tell me off. Okay, thank you. Bye. I'm going to get in so much trouble, aren't I? Okay, so you've got to give me a little bit about season three. Okay. Well, season three. Tease us. Tease you. Okay. Um, season three, we discover um, there's a serial killer who's taking this um, old statue of silver skele <laughs> silver skeleton. See, everyone tries to throw me off Stay when I'm doing this. That, David right? is making faces. So we find there's a silver skeleton, it's a, it's a sculpture, mm -hmm. and we find it in this bank vault, and it's a serial killer who's replacing each bone in this sculpture, this skeleton, with actual human bones from different people, basically trying to recreate like the perfect person. Not all these bones are silver. It's possible we just found more of Gavin Nichols. The hands of a violinist. Oh, I see. So they take all the best attributes from somebody mm -hmm. and make the perfect person. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. He has 61 new emails. Who's emailing? Part of them, though, are on an email. Apparently, my many old more email fans address. than me. My old email address, which I get I don't. three at a time. Well, there's mm -hmm. some that are on my email address that I don't check anymore, so I have to go through and delete a lot of those. So it's not really 61. All right, action. This blow to the sternum would have been fatal, dealt by a double-edged blade. My character is Dr. Zach Addy. I don't get angry. It's not rational. The language that you guys have to use, in particular you, because he's kind of child boy wonder genius. Yes. 
30 fighters translates to five two-person fights per hour over a three-hour period. Or three It must be so difficult to learn. It's hard. My mind is full. My mind is it's at capacity. damaged. It's at capacity. Give me a little bit of something that's kind of... Uh, I just said today, I said, uh, there are indications of a grade two acromioclavicular joint separation. But it certainly wasn't lethal. And another one I said that was hard is, it appears that the weapon was thrust into the neck, cutting through the sternocleidomastoid and severing both the carotid artery and jugular vein. You just shag. Okay, Percy. Cam, she goes nowhere long. Cam, don't listen to me. Cam, who are you Cam, afraid don't. Of? Cam, who are you Cam, afraid of? Cam, I was chatting to Hart about it, mm -hmm. and he was saying that you are, you really are his leading man, mm -hmm. which must be so flattering to you. Very nice, yeah. I, I'm fortunate to work with a great writer, so it's, it's a lot of fun. And he said it was just literally the chemistry between <clears throat> the two of you that you and Emily have that just blew them away. Mm -hmm. There's that spark that happened. Your hypothesis is that squints don't solve murders and cops do. Prove it. You go. You know, we elevate the show with the relationship. We always go back to the relationship. Look, I am an adult booth. I see men, I go out with them on occasion, I sleep with them. Hey, you know what? That's cool, but you don't even know who this guy is that you're meeting. I have trekked through Tibet, avoiding the Chinese army. I think I can handle meeting someone for dinner. Fine. You know what? Be have fun with Dick 431 or whatever his handle is. Yeah, I will. Good. Thanks. Fine. Good. You know, it's really about that for me. It's yeah. about the character work. It's about driving that with her and seeing how far I can annoy her. Well, I was just I about to say, you were being that. very, very serious then, and then Hart said to us that literally you just kind of grab her at the, yes. at the, at the last moment. What do you do? Tell. I don't grab her. Do you kiss her? No. Uh, just before they're about to take a shoot? No, 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 no. Sometimes I look into her eyes, you know, get mesmerized with her, bring her to that level, and just leave her like a cheap date. <laughs> That's how it all starts. I mean, you guys can understand that, can't you? <laughs> and cut.